Welcome to the stream! <laughs> Hello! Hi Legends! How are you doing today? Um, we are playing Unmatched but with the Monkey King. Yeah! Um, we... Uh, it's been a busy week of work and it will continue to be busy for the next week, week and a half-ish. Um, so before the stream started, I was napping. <laughs> um, but we recently got the Deadpool um, expansion character. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it reminded me that I that this is a great game to stream because it's very quick, but also <laughs> it's quick when I don't want when I don't keep requesting for rematches. <laughs> Doing good. About to start playing a game right now. Also, ooh, Legends. Ooh. What are you playing? Are you playing um, the Wilderness? What is it? Do you remember? Wilderness? He just he posted his game hall actually <gasps> in the ooh. Discord. Ooh, um, and he's gonna pull it up so you can so we show can, me because yeah. I was napping. So he got Whoa. the Dune Rise of Ix Dune Imperium the expansion, which still need to play it. Really want to play it. Uh, Boone Lake, which uh, is uh, Capstone Games, looks like. Andrew loves I Capstone. I don't know exactly what the game is, but uh, Wander Book as well. And some Dice Trays, is that it? it looks like Dice Trays. Uh, look sort? at me. I'm recognizing Dice Trays in a box. Yeah, you own a Dice Tray. I, no, no, but like <laughs> a Dice Tray like that. Because yeah. I, do we don't have those ones, those type of. Those are the ones, Legends, are those the type of dice trays that, um, who is it? Um, Booker Nerds! Hi, Booker Nerds! Um, what video, um, the person that we watch a lot of how to play the games, um, uh, he always flips the game and catches it. Our, our token's from Lucky Duck. Oh, maybe I'm wrong oh, then. I don't know. The person who has a YouTube... Who they review how to play games and then and they, they flip it. Yeah, they take the book and they're like, "Today we're playing," and then they flip the book or the board game and they catch and they're like, "Unmatched." Oh my gosh, this is gonna bother me. <laughs> they, how are you? How do you not know what I'm talking about? I probably should watch more book YouTube videos. Book of nerds. I learned. Watch it games. play. Watch Legends it play. There it. it is. How are we? Dancing Jerry. Dancing how are we? Cherry. We're good. How's everybody? I was yeah, trying oh, that's to Rodney, remember yeah. Rodney. Yeah, I was trying to remember um, someone who I learned a lot of board game rules from. <laughs> Andrew learned I board games books. by from the from the, from the rule, rule books, books yeah. and I watched the YouTube videos. Rodney yeah. Smith. This is I really hi, like Rodney Smith. Um, I like how the chat was able to beat you at, at thinking I know. of it. I. I don't know. I don't know why I, uh, I didn't. Uh, although Legends is starting Wander Book, not to change the subject too quickly. Ooh. <laughs> it, um, are other people setting up any games? Yeah, or... is anyone playing with us in the background? Um, or... We were just talking about how we got this the Deadpool expansion of this game. Mm -hmm. Um And this week has been a very busy week for me, and it'll be pretty busy continuing so i wanted to pick an easier game or not easier game a game i was already familiar with and mm -hmm. a faster one and it's still chinese new well lunar new year season so we're sticking with the chinese themed games yeah we did eat noodles today which was good yeah but um, it was ramen ramen i guess that's ramen true. noodles in japanese i know but i'm trying to think but they celebrate the, uh, lunar new year as well that's what so. i was gonna say because i was thinking <laughs> we didn't really do as much uh, as much celebrating or any of the traditions because we didn't do any big spring cleaning we did we we spent a whole day cleaning uh the day before i feel like it was cleaning maintenance cleaning not like deep cleaning mm, um yes. we do have a child a young child yeah gets, you just gets need in the to way always of... be cleaning yeah is the thing <laughs> We did. Um, I felt like we did pretty good cleaning. <gasps> Bookenders oh. just played unmatched last week. Raptors versus Beowulf. Raptors won. Hey, uh, Raptors are definitely my favorite. Um, thematically speaking, I do like Bruce Lee a lot, and the Monkey King is going to be very fun. Um, what what's the game? I want to get the Beowulf expansion one of these times. It's kind of sold out right now. I think. You know what, Bookenders? I feel like you are not the only person I've heard 
mention the Beowulf um, expansion. People like yeah. it, and it seemed like a cool one. I, who do they remind me? Who they uh, are? It's like a two pack, right? Beowulf versus someone. Can't, Beowulf maybe versus Red Alice in Wonderland. Oh. I think it's Red, Red, Red Riding, Riding Hood. Hood. That mm-hmm. sounds right. Uh, Dancing Chairs asks how we are, and also we ask everyone how y'all are. If you got anything good played over the weekend, I got to play um, Black Rose Wars for the first time, which has been one that I've been very excited about. Got a little obsessed with trying to acquire everything for uh, <laughs> over the holiday break through trades, nonetheless. And I successfully trade, did trade, it. Trade, I trade, successfully trade. did it. Well, I bought one thing. Uh, but the but rest was friend, all trades. Our friend drove down in bad traffic on bad Friday night traffic to play. And he brought his collection of very scotch. tasty scotch. <laughs> and I was like, this is amazing. I didn't play Black Rose Wars. I played Don't Starve and I slept. But I had some of the scotch and it was so good. And it was fun <laughs> hearing them play from the other room. Red Riding Hood. Okay, yes. there it is. Yeah. Um, but the... Uh, Pia, which two characters should I play in Wonder Book? Ken, Samurai, ooh. Helmet and ba- Baseball Bat. Laura, Boxer, Tina, Bow and Arrow, and Sid, stream- Streamer with a Paintball Gun. Ooh. I say Ken, Ken and Laura. Ooh, that's cool. Paintball Gun. I mean, that sounds really fun, too. <laughs> or Sid. Sorry, I didn't give you two answers. You can pick out of the three. But definitely Ken. And then you pick between Lara and Sid. <laughs> not I enjoy... Tina, though. Definitely not Tina. That's the one that Pia doesn't want. <laughs> not Tina today. Bargain Feast. Scotch Welcome. And... Scotch and Games. Yes, it was. Um, he had said, our friend had said that um, he has he collects scotch and he has too much to drink by himself so it was a nice a nice occasion. it was a great addition to the game as well as uh, i really enjoyed black rose wars uh Hi, for those of you don't know these. it's kind of a, a death wizard death match arena game where everyone's trying to kill each other uh your wizards in like a like a wizard lodge and it's a deck building game as well so you're buying spells that go into your deck and they're all crazy overpowered it's one of those games that you're constantly like you can do what it sounds bombastic <laughs> it is bombastic uh the production it sounds like a nice amazing. thing to pair with scotch it was a great combo with scotch <laughs> um, it was really fun i it was one of those games the next day i was kept thinking about i was like i want to play it again i want to play it again but it's also definitely an event game where it's it's a longer game and it's a lot to get out and so it's not going to be happening all the time so i know it won't get played board game piece says classic wizards and their lodge full of orbs i know yeah exactly (laughs) uh yeah so we just got the deadpool expansion for this so we're just kind of opening it up now um one thing one fun touch yeah is on the on the um health dial the zero is is just this the swears symbols oh wait i'm gonna see it's really oh, small oh that's really fun <laughs> it's really small it won't show up on the camera but it's all the swears uh oh, oh he only and has i really 10 like health. the art style oops uh oh the little like thing is gonna be but mm-hmm. it's like um it's in that comic book style um it's as if he made a hit they're styling as if he made his own um like handmade expansion yeah, um, it it looks really fun. Like this is like a receipt. Like it's so in definitely a style fourth of a... wall breaking classic Uh-oh. Deadpool. I um, there we go. Anyways, Wait, it, no, it, no, the, the production on it's pretty fun. Just like everything for Unmatched, it's really highly produced. Um, I um, can't wait to play this with a, a fan, um, K Pax, who is a friend, or uh, not friend, a friend of Deadpool, a fan of Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a he'll definitely choose Deadpool. Um, oh, but yeah, and look, this what like this card is a um a badge. Oh my gosh, that's so fun! I love what this <gasps> chimichanga break. It's like a chim oh oh a ch- chimichanga <laughs> tape or um duct tape on. Um, it's been fun. Uh, today the miniature for... as always is is pretty. Let's see if we, it'll show up. Uh, um, today I was working with a student and. 
I don't think we can get it to focus. <laughs> um, we, I got an inventory of his interests, and he really liked Spider-Man. So Anyways. for the whole session, we talked about Spider-Man. And it was funny because I was trying to prepare like a graphic organizer slash like word bank for the students so that we could write about Spider-Man No Way Home. And um, it was just fun talking about... Because oftentimes my students talk about things I don't know. They talk about Roblox. They talk about oh man, lots of, lots of stuff that I don't understand. And so it's like I can't really keep up. But I watched Spider-Man No Way Home. And so I was like, oh, I could talk about this. I won't spoil anything. But it was, it was fun. <laughs> uh, Digital Legends. I got a cooperative game that kind of reminds me of Stranger Things or something, but I can't remember the name. It's in the back of my wife's car. Is it the Snallygaster situation? Because uh, we got that, and we played that last uh, October, September? It was so It was fun. a really fun game, yeah. Oh, uh, Booker, uh, thanks, thanks for, for stopping by. In. We Always appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's that get that's definitely um what is it? Uh what's it called? Ooh, we nailed it. Yes. DJ Lojo. Yes. Yeah, we um we streamed that on Tabletop Live Network. I think there's a YouTube video of us doing it. But... I um I, I'm that is one of the games that I realized I do Ooh, like co ops. <laughs> I I think I realize I think I like co ops with the right people. Uh, so that game we played versus Bloody Mary, which was really fun. A, a legitimate scary character in my childhood. And so Bloody Mary is a character in the new Unmatched box, uh, Volume 2, where we got the Monkey King. Uh, oh. Check out the miniature for that. Oh my gosh, that is nightmare fuel. Whoa, that's crazy. And has like a creepy like arm that's like kind of contorted. Yeah, it's a mirror, but it has like, and but the mirror's breaking, and the per, and Bloody uh, Mary is coming out of it. Uh, let's let's switch over to the other. Um, camera, also picked up from... Radlands. Nice. Ooh, you and oh, hey. um, you and um, Legends has have gotten some cool. Oh, the camera doesn't pick it up, but some cool games lately. Also, this is Andrew's trick everyone because this shirt looks like his skin color <laughs> wait can you switch back real quick andrew i feel like it doesn't look as bad in the last in faces in the yeah it was a little bit better but when you switch when it's small yeah. andrew only plays unmatched shirtless <laughs> oh no board game feast he's being a butt so restarting oh that's no fun um uh yeah dj lojo i got to play we need to play radlands on the stream one of these days it's really fun i think you'll like it i feel like i always have a terrible like terrible luck when i like talk to someone on stream or like 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 ask a question or something then my stream like messes <laughs> up so i have to restart it and i'm like i don't know if they answered <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, yeah, that, especially, like, right after you chat. Um, yeah, this yeah, pink shirt. Yeah, topless stream. This, the funny part is this, this isn't an Andrew's shirt. I don't know where it came from. What do you mean it's not my shirt? I've had it for... A year, or, yeah, yeah. But all like, of COVID. All of COVID, but you know where you got it? I think it was, like, one of my cousins, and it got put in your laundry. Oh. Yeah, well, when we were in the their Philippines, their fault for putting it in my laundry. <laughs> in the Philippines, our all our we all stay in one place, and our laundry just gets all mixed up sometimes. And mm -hmm. so Andrew comes home with extra free shirts, <laughs> but I probably leave some there too. <laughs> Someone yeah. else gets some free shirts too. I like this one. It was a great. It always kept people on edge when I would do <laughs> Zoom meetings at work uh, because. I would at least get one question from someone who were like, do you have a shirt on? I was like, yeah. And then I would like tug at it and they're like, oh, it looked like you were shirtless for a second. Wait, Mrs. Can you? Which, uh, you know, it just made the business meetings just that much more interesting. Everyone's Mrs. on Mrs. Moy, Mrs. what up? Mrs. Moy has a very important thing to say that you need to highlight. Pia, there is a snowboard in the Olympics who pulled out a bow out of her pocket as a snack. Pocket bow is probably one of the best things that I have accidentally discovered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, pocket bow. That was at Brian's. 
birthday party. Yeah, I we was at a friend's birthday party. We went and got dim sum, and there was bao that was left over. And I was like, I don't want to put this in the bag with all the food. I want to put it in my pocket where I can none access us, it. None of us knew that. So like <laughs> four hours later, we were walking down the street in Seattle, and then Pia reaches into her pocket and pulls out a bao and starts eating it. And we're like, what? <laughs> Um, what is try it out. I highly recommend it. This snowboarder is an Olympian, and they are recommending it. <laughs> Mrs. Moy saw it with their own eyes. <laughs> Mrs. Moy, I love that. The, I forgot that that about that bow emote too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like common law marriage. If you wear it long enough, you it's yours regardless. That's true. I always wonder if Andrew will have like a photograph of him with it, and then one of my cousins will be like. That's my, my shirt. Tag <laughs> <laughs> pocket bow forever. Yeah. It's not a bad move. I mean, if you just get a little hungry and you're like, oh, I got a bow. Okay. And I think bow like, just retains its like temperature really well because it's just like so solid. And then when it's in your pocket, it also <laughs> is insulated in your puffy jacket. Oh, At wow. least for me. Uh, <laughs> Legend says he ate gao ji, beef broccoli, and chow fun. Uh, sounds like a good dinner to um, me. I was talking about chow fun earlier today. so mm, Yeah. It's the second mention of chow fun, <laughs> which is a good <laughs> sign for the day. Um, should we play? Let's this do is, it. This, last time, I'm realizing last time we played this game, I wish that we did that yeah, over. Game feast. Yeah, oh yeah, back in time for some bow talk. <laughs> you missed Pia's pocket bow story. Pocket yes. bow! <laughs> Walsy's hungry now. <laughs> um, oh. The I forgot that I really wanted to do like a not table cam but like a card cam for this game because I the love cards the are art. So nice, yeah. So, I almost I almost feel like I would <laughs> I would I would get a tattoo. Not that I am like that big of a Jet Li fan. But I feel like it has Whoa. some cool like yeah, minimal. Clearly not a Bruce Lee fan. Oh sorry, sorry. A oh Bruce my Lee. gosh. <laughs> But like the um the what is going art on? Style, like it has like these, these really cool like line work. Anyways, Bruce yeah, Lee, the art style on I'm all sorry, the cards. Jet Li, both people. Hey, if they had a uh, Jet Li expansion, Andrew I would, would be also get all it. about that. I would get it in a second. Um, Jet Li is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Jet Li is Andrew's um, Andrew's uh, celebrity crush. One of my celebrity. One crushes, of my, yeah. his celebrity crushes. We are watching a Jet Li movie, and Andrew, definitely with a lot of drinks, was yelling how much he was his celebrity crush, and it was funny Probably because everyone too- was yelling and talking over each other, and that oh. was the day that we got a noise complaint. Or what a noisy <laughs> noise complaint! I mean, that was a good Us day. You all, out. Journey to the West, Morgan Peace was wild. Loved it. Oh my gosh, great recommendation. It was. Just what was needed. Uh, Pia (laughs) didn't like it as much. (laughs) It was wild. But the thing is, I didn't dislike it. I think it's just, I don't love that style of movie, but it was a wild ride. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, Stephen Chow just doesn't, just doesn't let up. And it it reminded me a lot of Stephen Chow's older stuff, which was really cool. So, Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you for the recommendation. For I did not so expect the twisted Monkey King version because usually he's pretty cute and like trick trickster in mischievous in a in a not not positive way, but like in a more fun way. But in this one, he was like deviously mischievous, which oh, was great. Andrew, you need to um, answer Legends' question. Uh, yeah, let's throw it up there. Uh, also, maybe we should just switch. switch <laughs> We're not getting to the game right now. Uh, my character can and Sid entered a secret chamber. Should they unravel the arcane secrets of the places, place or look for something valuable to take? <laughs> Definitely unravel the arcane secrets. Because you might get an item, the other one, but if you get the arcane secrets, you might get a spell. I don't know if this game has spells, but Our I'm going to say spells are cool. Um... It it is yeah it actually Morgan Feast at the very end when you find out who the characters are Andrew like you look like, audibly like <gasps> you know you I mean I like kind of recognized the characters as it was going um, 
and and but I didn't really put it together that it was going to be a prequel story. But um, Borg and Peace, our favorite, our favorite part of the movie was when <laughs> the guy that kept bleeding that had the fake blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He had the like blood spout that he couldn't turn off, and it was just spraying his face the whole time. That was that um, was, that a good was bit. also Tricky Twenty's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like I guess I liked it as much as the other um, the other what's it called uh, Stephen Chow movies. I I wouldn't say like I didn't like it. I just it's just one of those. It was movies on part. That... They are their own class of movies. Really, yeah, so <laughs> it cannot be compared to others. Also, the Moist subscribed. Tier one for thirteen months, the original subscriber, the, first, the, the original, longest subscriber, the, Moy. the most consistent subscriber, the Moy. The first one. First original. What yeah. I said original, right? The longest oh yeah, I guess it's the longest if you're the first. Yeah. Uh may you Oh man, our, have our a blessing. Really good breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> We got free coffee last time. <laughs> we so it's gotta be, it's... have some pre thought out. Oh wait, wait, no, no. May you get rich. That's the one. That's, oh yeah. That's the blessing may, everyone's may, getting this month. May, may you, you get, get rich. rich. Rich in um in breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> wait, we don't have our little red envelopes. Okay, hold on. We can't. Why did they? Why were they put away? Let me go grab them. You told me to clean the room. <laughs> but not the red envelopes. <laughs> Oh, may you unravel arcane secrets and get a spell out of it. Okay, Pia's coming back with the uh, the red envelopes. Okay, here's for real now. Hope Hope you you get get rich in breakfast and gold medals. (laughs) Whoever you're rooting for, may they get a gold medal. (laughs) <laughs> um the yeah and that's because uh what is that ronnie chang in um stand-up special his fan his, his stand-up special he talks about how um it's that read that out loud correctly andrew gong chi fatsai is not happy lunar new year but hope you get rich <laughs> or like may you have prosperity or um, also, our kid, we got our kid this book that has um, colors in Mandarin, and I tried to read it to him, and was like, don't read it. Don't stop trying to read Mandarin. And I was like, I'm pretty close. And then Andrew reads it to him. I'm like, I'm really far off. I don't have the tones <laughs> correctly at all. Um, well, I didn't when I read that either, so <laughs> we're on the same page. Um I'm having... Oh, did you... I got another game, too. This is what I'm having. It's gold for Lunar New Year. Ooh, nice. Andrew had an ice cream bar, which he ate very messily before the stream started. The chocolate no, was falling everywhere. It's nowhere. It's right there. Mm. <laughs> One of these. <gasps> and a blob on animal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, um, what up? That's a great totally one. It's... It's like, it's my, it's one of my favorites. It's like slowly becoming. Well, you're and playing like, with all your students, I'm right? playing it with all my students. I love it. They get so into it. <laughs> um, there was today a staff member who was like looking at the window. Ooh, thanks for the high Hydrate. dancing, Cherry. Oh, who who um, saw me playing and saw the kid one of the kids were like jumping up and down and she was like i thought this was an education level place i think it is it's also one with board games oh board game blitz thanks for the raid we were just talking about animal upon animal um i'm in charge now because andrew did not have a drink for the hydrate so i needed a drink for the hydrate thank you for the raid we are playing um, unmatched with Sun Wukong, aka the Monkey King, and Bruce Lee. Um, I'm Pia. I'm Andrew. And we're Boy Games Fan. We stream the... Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Pacific time. Focus on physical board games. Um, as we're trying to get through our collection, we're at 80%. I think we were earlier at 
78%. So, you know, we're getting through it really quickly. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, we're playing Unmatched tonight. And this whole month we are playing games um, either by Chinese designers or uh, themed around China for the Lunar New Year. Because we have a lot of those. Or Taiwan things. or Hong Kong or <laughs> places adjacent to China. Uh, <laughs> near, 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 near geographically. Place, yeah, places that celebrate Lunar New Year. So welcome to the stream. Um, I played this last time and I lost a lot. And so we'll see how well I do. And we're about to start. Uh, but uh, thank you, Sun Jack, for the follow. I'm Dr. Alan Grant. And I come out and thank people for following. And I was just digging up some bones in an ancient temple. And guess what? No bones yet. So no bones yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some. Thanks for the follow. Also, do people know? Are are people familiar with the dog and the no bone? What is it? It's no, a no bones day. A no bones day versus a bones day. Yeah, no birthday. Board Game Feast says that. Um, oh, Board Game Boots, what hey, are some of your yeah, favorite in your collection? Know. What are those games? The, the pug is adorable. It yes. is. Blackwing Bird says, ha ha, yes. Um, Andrew was trying to explain it to me, and I'm like, I don't really get it, Andrew. And then he showed it to me, and I was like, I love this pug. This No Bones Day pug. Yeah, I can definitely get behind that. Uh, no Bones Day or Bones Day. Which, um, I mean, it's fun just to have that uh, be dictated to you. Like. <laughs> oh, and Panda, yeah, Panda, uh, who, Panda, we are streaming this Friday. Uh, we are streaming Take a Noko. Take a Noko with the Panda Angel. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's actually one of, like, I would say that's one of Andrew and Pia's, like, first early you board game talk loves. talk about us in the third person. Yeah, it's like our like yeah. like. No, uh, we, 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 we love, we love, that, take we love that game. Um, first edition rules. I was not aware there's a second edition rule set, but uh, yeah, we're playing it and I'm so excited. Yeah, our copy ended up smelling a lot like booze because we would we had a friend over and we were drinking a lot of soju. I don't know what it I was. I think it was soju while playing. <laughs> Take a Noko. A wild uh, game of yeah, Take a Noko. It was a wild game of Take a Noko. There were spills. Um, <laughs> anyways. Uh, Board Game Blitz says, let's make a bus route. No right. so dice. <laughs> Guest Club. Remember our trip are some of my favorite from Asian publishers. Yes, I want to play uh, I, all of those, actually. <laughs> um, they all look really cool. We, ha I, Yeah. Especially Remember Our Trip. It just sounds like such a funny theme for a game such a unique theme but also a funny theme remember um, our trip i feel like i've heard about that we've I talked know. about getting it oh before. okay yeah yeah, yeah. Well, you, now you've I'm heard getting, of all of those pretty much i'm getting you know this is what happens andrew's like i told you about that game uh and i would then, love for their because the <laughs> japanese board game industry is actually pretty thriving and big and they're making a lot of stuff those games are some of the bigger hits over here oh. but i wish there was a place that was just easy to get them because there's oftentimes japanese games that we hear about and then they're yeah. really hard to get well there's a rainier i mean this is a rainier <laughs> kanitsia game. pan angel r.i.p take an oko yeah no. it was really it didn't die it didn't die it i mean it was super boozy and kind of like <laughs> um was it ruffled at all or not i feel like any board game collector or board game person would be like what is happening to your game <laughs> <laughs> um but it, it's such a good I, i'm excited because it's a game that i feel like is really fun to play and, and fun to chat over i feel like we played it with multiple people who aren't big board gamers and it's always been a hit so we're really excited to play with panda on friday Ooh. uh yep friday evening 8 p.m i'm gonna it's over gonna... on our channel. Uh, Board Game Feast says, Big Cat Games. Oh. Focuses on importing Japanese games. Might have to check that out. What was oh, the one I that you really have... wanted? I really wanted to, this game. I think it's called Trendy, maybe. Um, it's actually or not a Kinitsia trendy. game. It's a Kinitsia game, but it was like in a Japanese. Because I think... Oh, my gosh. It's the Japanese it... version of it. Now, right? I, now I don't know if I'm calling it right. It's like some one word... 
that is... I think trendy is right. It's trendy. Yeah. Like, that's supposed to be sort of related to fashion. But the art was so cute. I've gotten a lot of games from them. Oh, Ooh. okay. I'm I'm going to keep this in okay. mind. Board Game Blitz. Board Game Feast. Thank you so much. Um, uh, okay. We've got to check this out because... Thanks for I, that suggestion. Yeah. Uh, last year, about this time... Andrew bought a bunch Miniature of games. Miniature Market had a, like a big sale on a bunch of Taiwanese games. Um, and so I bought all, not all of them. I bought like half of them. And uh, we, we've played a few. There's some fun ones in there. but Board Game Feast. There's a really cute one a few years ago about a running a Japanese inn. The really cute cat With a cat figurine. figurine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, this what could, is it called, Board Game Feast? Also, please let us know. This is like also a really it. easy way for us to spend a lot of money. So, so everyone, <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. Be quiet. Yeah, everyone be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> be too easy to spend money on. Oh, that's really exciting. Um, we've been actually okay. Speaking of um, um. Okay, at eight forty, we're gonna start the game. <laughs> We've been watching just, this just show. So that we stay on Has schedule. anyone watched it? We accidentally started watching it because um, it's called. I, it's not a rival, which I do like. Invasion. Invasion on Apple TV. We accidentally started watching it because we watched After Party and then there were no more episodes, so we were looking for something else to watch. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit of a slow burn, but it's been very... Um, I've, we've really enjoyed it. The mm -hmm. interesting thing, though, is because we recently watched another, a different movie or a different TV series called... What's the Korean show i don't remember the name of that one. Oh, it's a oh my gosh it this is gonna bug me now it's a korean show about okay now i have to look the it up moon. about the moon it's a it's on netflix this whole this whole stream has been pia trying to remember words and <laughs> and not knowing it anyway sea of silence there you go sea of, yes thank yes you, yes. Thank you. yes and so and then and just watching a lot of like we've watched korean and, and japanese movies and then so like we like the sh we we like the Apple TV show, um, but it's very interesting because they wrote a storyline for a Japanese character set in Japan, and I feel in, like in Japan's NASA called JASA. But it like it just I, it feels like it just is way too heavy handed. It's way too like American or Western in terms of how they interact with each other. And I was just thinking about that when we were talking about games published in Asia. Where I was like, I really like the series, but I feel like I get so annoyed with the storyline because it's it's like heavy handed in a Western way. Yeah, it's a it's a very um it just yeah, it doesn't feel <gasps> Oh Bay Duna. It that? feels like an American story that they set it, it with Japanese characters. Does that like, make sense? Like it's not like it not like it's impossible, but the way they interact at their work and to their bosses and stuff. It just feels very unlike um, business culture, mm -hmm. professional culture that you see in Korean or Japanese made. Yeah, it cinema. does. It feels like so. it just was cut and paste. Like if this is a Western story, but then we're gonna say this is Japanese, you know, and you don't yeah. really notice that nuance until you start watching cinema from that area. Area that's mm -hmm. like, ah, uh, no, they would probably, they probably <laughs> have all the same emotions and feelings, but yeah. it would be approached in a different. I way. mean, that's like um, with board games, like the Chinese and Japanese themed games always are like. There's an on, always an honor track and like a tea ceremony and stuff, but if you actually play games from Japan or China, none of those things are ever in the <laughs> game. I mean, I guess tea is often tight. Formosa tea is all about tea, but there's not a tea ceremony. Also, um, Bay Duna, yeah, she's great. We were watching that show, um, The Silent Sea, and then we were like, where do we know her from? And she's from the kingdom, which yeah. we love. And. Um, Mrs. Moy, if she's still here, she was talking about <laughs> we've how talked about we've got the, the kingdom like so for a much. month straight. Yeah. <laughs> and then speaking of, it was such a it was such a good one. Ah, oh, uh, so we've good. one minute till eight forty, oh, okay. and then we'll start. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Sea of Silence was great. Someone was here um, talking about Sea of Silence, and that was one of the reasons why we kind of pushed it over the edge because I saw a few of my friends talking about how they were watching it, and then. Someone on in chat had mentioned it, and I was like, "Well, too many people are talking about it yeah. now. I need to uh, watch it." Both <laughs> Sea of Silence and in Invasion 
are quite, <laughs> this is quite a bit of uh, slow burns. So they take a little bit of patience to get through. Uh, but both of them are well worth it. And Invasion sets up season two to be a lot less of a slow burn. I think it's going to be pretty wild. So mm-hmm. um, definitely, definitely recommend those. Um, the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> also, Mrs. Moy, what are you? Wa- what event of the Olympics are you watching right now? Found the name of that game. <gasps> Ooh, no, okay. I'm gonna look it up on my phone and save it there so that when we're done streaming, I will be able to find it. Oh, she's in Cloud Atlas. Uh, yeah, I see that. Uh, uh, very cool. I've not seen that one yet. Um. Okay, let's play this game. Ooh. Did we watch two seasons of Kingdom? I can't remember. It felt finished (gasps) when we we finished it, but I know they've made something since we've watched it. So I can't promise if we've seen the second season or not. The cat token, Bargain Feast. I see it. I want it. Um, Let us know if you track it down. We're going to be shopping at these import <laughs> shops, <laughs> websites after this, so just... Um, so the youngest player goes first? Yes. And surprise, it's Andrew! <laughs> no, just kidding. It's me. It's not me. So I can move and then play. Yeah. I'm scared of you, because he's got clones. Not yet. Clone Wars. Oh, okay. I have to lose health to, to plot my clones out there. I'm going to go one, two. So we're on a special map, too, no. where one, um, two, three. if you're above someone in elevation, you're going to do more damage, and it's marked with these symbols here. So, um. Yeah, um, Board Game Feast, when you watch... <laughs> I turned off the Olympics to watch my friend's board games. Oh, <laughs> wow, we have your full attention. No what? way, Mrs. Boy. I often have a lot of things going on while... People are streaming. Usually it's like chores. Um, but um, what ha- what events have you been in- enjoying, Mrs. Moy? I feel like we bought a- an antenna just for the Olympics like years ago. But I don't know. It's kind of spotty. I feel like we should try it. Okay. I am oh, making a Oh, here he goes clone. with his clones. Um... And, oh, I only have a movement of two? That seems wrong. Oh, I need wrong. to be looking at my cards. That seems wrong. Okay, I'm going to move two. Draw a card. Did you draw a card when you moved? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I did. And um, you moved once or twice? You probably moved twice. I moved I moved um, a set of three once. I could do it one more So you time. have two actions on your turn. So Ooh. you'll want to have done it. Okay, one, two. Three. You don't have to move the full. Okay, and then could I grab one more? Or is it moving? Moving is grabbing a card. Okay, so I get one more. Yes. So when you move, you grab a card, and when you grab a card, you move. Nice. You don't um, always have to, like, use all your movement, but you do have to grab the card. Oh, okay. Um, Borgian Feast. Um, let us know at some point if you ever do watch, um, the si- this Sea of Silence or the Silent Sea, because I want to talk about it with people. Nice. We've, we, we, we've been trying to tell people to, we've been mentioning that we watched it, hinting. Andrew's really good about, like, saying what he's watching, being very, like, hey, it was good, I really liked it, being, like, very gentle with the recommendation, because sometimes, and I know this, when things get overhyped, I, like, it can kind of impact how much can you like things. Like yeah. Like, I, I feel don't like know. that happened with a lot of people for Parasite. We were lucky enough to see Parasite before the hype hit. Well, because and we, we love really that director. liked it, but then there was a lot of people running into that movie with like so much hype, and I think expecting something different because of the hype. Oh. Uh, and so they came out more lukewarm. Yeah, I don't know what people if if they had a movie that not necessarily was ruined but maybe overhyped and overhyped. not as good as you were anyways andrew's really good about being a little bit more tempered with his excitement about stuff i'm like please watch it i want to talk about it like i 
loved it so much. And then I was like, I, I, this doesn't help anyone. This is just a statement more for me. <laughs> <laughs> this boy says, hockey was incredible last night. Even though the U.S. lost, also got really into team figure skating event. Oh, yeah. Uh, Derek was chatting about the team figure ga- skating event. <laughs> uh, though the rules were very unclear. I, I mean, the rules feel unclear in singles figure skating. Wait, team? So, like couples? Team. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What is team figure skating? It's like five to ten people or something on a team. All at once? All on the ice together? Or they put their scores so. together? I think they put their scores okay, together. Okay, I need to watch it. I This is really coming at a bad time for work. <laughs> I was just napping before the stream. <laughs> Zero so. power. They don't usually do it. I would no, love for them to do it all at once. Wild. It's like individual and the scores add up. Oh, okay. Um, uh... Because I just imagine in figure skating when everyone is, like, um, when they're warming up and, like, people can, like, run into each other. I mean, that's what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For one Olympics, someone, like, ran into each other during warm-ups and it was, like, a big deal. Oh, it was Jamie Sale and David Peltier. Um, I was going to say some of my favorite Canadian figure skaters, but I also don't remember very many, but they were my favorite. I was of the era of, like, I watched a lot of figure skating during that time. So mm-hmm. anyone North American, I don't know. I don't even know if I like root. I think I was at the age where like I just rooted for everyone. I didn't have like favorites. <laughs> it probably maybe I had a favorites based off of like who got a lot of airtime, and I was like I like them, but I just like like everybody. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they do teams for gymnastics oh, too. Oh, got I it. I did not know about yeah. Either. Um, the. I, there should be more qualitative uh, events in there the Olympics. There should be more ice skating where everyone's on the same <laughs> ice at the same time. <laughs> I want to see more qualitative events where it's just... It's synchronized it, swimming, but ice yeah. skating. No. Whoa, that would be crazy if they're like, everyone's going to do a triple lutz at the same time. What, what are some other things that people do that people judge? In a really... In, in like a, an impressionistic way, like, oh, that was hard, or that was good, you know, like... No, I think it's, the thing is with... It's like, that with, was a good song choice with, with comp, that. Yeah, I think with, like, the... But what, that could be in the Olympics. That could be in the Olympics. What Par- would be a funny parkour. thing? Parkour. So, parkour. I only say this because my student and I were talking about parkour today. Parkour would be a great Olympics. And we may have practiced parkour. And by practice, I mean we did a lot of jumping and a lot of... There's like this little step ladder and we practiced (laughs) running and jumping off of it. And we're like, parkour! Uh, And they didn't know that this was a office reference that I was saying. (laughs) I don't know if you saw. Pia, that's called hockey. (laughs) (laughs) That's not I love untrue. It. That's this not untrue. Boy. <laughs> All right, Pia, I'm attacking you. Um, this wait, one more thing. This I didn't think I didn't realize that this was the Winter Olympics time. So I think I need to watch Miracle. Is probably the You didn't know it was the winter did you think it was the summer Olympics? I didn't I didn't even really think about again, my brain <laughs> has not really been <laughs> okay. I've been very busy. I've been writing so many IEPs. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Cheerleading is something that people have suggested that's on music. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that makes sense. Because there's like the acrobatics, like the gymnastics aspect. Zio says that they're also trying to add something to the summer games. Maybe that was oh, cheerleading. Oh, cheerleading, parkour, uh, breakdancing. Breakdancing, definitely. Because there's like an artistic part of it. And then there's a like a skill component. Mm-hmm. Like this is hard type of thing. Man, I remember watching so much ice skating i feel like is it too late to jump in so how long has the olympics been running up still maybe it's too late i didn't even know it was the winter it's been olympics. a week remember i was like the opening no, I know, ceremonies I know that tonight the, that i know week. that it was the ceremonies but i didn't even think about what season it was i mean it's winter right now <laughs> for me but it's always i'm always cold so people are always at work like why are you wearing such a Thick and long jacket. Ooh, Zio Pass says surfing and climbing also being added. <gasps> I can't believe climbing hasn't been part of the Olympics before. That seems like it. Because it there's wouldn't. already, like, um, not circuits, but I guess a lot of these things that are competitive aspects yeah. to it. 
I mean, there's speed. Power. I'm sure it's just speed. It probably wasn't popular enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, that's interesting. Like what, what it takes to like. Pia says. To push it or, over uh, the Lisa edge. Moy says there's still plenty of ice cream. <laughs> I guess that makes me wonder too, because like there's, what is it? What is it? The one where people like shoot a gun and ski. Like that's not very popular, is it? But, yeah, it is funny because it must have been popular at one time. That has to be the. I'm. I mean. I'm. I'm attacking. Oh my gosh, Andrew has told me so many it's times that he's attacking. Ten minutes. It's okay, been here. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So what am I doing? Am I responding? Yes, if you like. <laughs> that was such an exasperated. <laughs> you know how to play this. <laughs> I know, but I'm. I'm thinking about the Olympics right now. I know. I know. Okay. We can. We can do both. No, we can't. <laughs> biathlon that's biathlon. it yeah biathlon. <laughs> um which i think is like it's not popular outside of the olympics but every time the winter olympics come up i think like that's the only thing i hear people talking about people are just always excited about the biathlon i mean it's it's enough for me to remember and talk about so yeah uh, the way Winter Olympics conversations go is like, oh, the Winter Olympics are coming. And then people are like, are they going to have that gun, sh- gun like skiing thing again? And then everyone's like, oh, yeah, that thing's cool. And then someone's like, it's called the biathlon. Wait, there's zero, ha- zero power is horse and guns? Or skiing what? and guns? They added a mixed team event, men and women, and it was awesome. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I need to look at some highlights. There's probably like um. A, Grizzly a, Diz, what's up? Hi, Grizzly Diz. We are talking about the Olympics okay. and how I have Andrew has tried to initiate this turn this whole time. This is I my haven't. first turn. Okay. Here and it's intact. Uh, yeah. After combat, deal one damage to each opposing fighter adjacent to your fighter. Oh. So I but still I do a damage. It. You blocked it all. I do one. But damage. afterwards, I do one damage. And then so yours one is more. Just one damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then if you won the combat, which you did, choose one of the fighters in the combat and move them up to two spaces. Nice. Can you? Can your characters share a space? No. Okay. Um. Well, Legend said he did a swim and run biathlon. What? Ooh, that's awesome, Legends. So is a biathlon any sort of distance event that has two types of activities? This this is awful. This is just P and Andrew posing information, like yeah, asking information a, that that the chat has. <laughs> chat, do you know this piece of information? I think that would make sense. Um, I move you twice. Mm-hmm. And I move you two. Oh. Sorry, I'm actually thinking. I'm okay, not. I got, like... I got you. I got you. No, no, no. You move the the character that hit you. Oh, that that hit me. Yeah, okay. that's involved in the. There you can go. I pass through that character? When uh, I don't position? think you can pass through. Okay, then I don't want that one two. I mean, your movement's three though. You could get next turn. Oh, I could go like this one two three. Okay. Or just one two. Okay. I'm trying to get in position. This is a tricky one because you, there's like higher ground and you can get bonuses. And I'm having a hard time. It is your out. turn. I'm gonna go. Your turn. I think duathlon is the biking and running one. Zoe Power Eight, says. Two, <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll say. Um. Duathlon. Interesting. Because I would have, I would have guessed biathlon would just be any two event distance thing. But do athlon okay. make sense that they would have one, specific two, names for specific events? Draw a card. One, two, three, and then can I attack, or no? No, you moved twice. Mm. Unless the first time you moved, you played cards for their. Um, for their movement. For their boost. Oh, maybe I'll just Base boost. Base boost. One, two, and then I attack. Okay, I'm going to do that. Or maybe so not. So you got to discard those cards first. 
Um, uh, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe you. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna draw one more card. Very interesting spot you got there. All right. Um, I'm going to lose my problem a health. last time was I just was I didn't let the fight come to me, so I'm letting the fight come to me. Oh, okay. Because Andrew kept saying this is a fast game. This is a fast game, and so I was like, this okay. Is an attack. I always forget I need to use my special move. I'm getting my clones out there. Special attack. Okay. Ready, set, go. I did regroup. Uh, oh, you tricked after me. After combat, if you if your opponent played a defense card, I did a I did both. Yeah, that's a defense Dang card. Dang it. Four damage. <gasps> oh my three, gosh. Only three damage, though. Because He's I blocked tricky. one. He's tricky. Trixie, Trixie, one, Trixie. One, two, three. Dang it. Andrew is still at 17, or 15. Uh, I've taken two damage already. But you, you're dead, right? Not yet. You're dead. Uh, no, that was my first attack. Oh, no. Zeal power, we haven't gotten the um, snavely yet. You're attacking me again? Mm hmm. You're gonna do the same thing, huh? How would I have two of those cards in my hand? I can choose not to play anything, I think. Um. The defender may, but not required to choose a defense card. Okay, I'm ready. You're playing a different card? <laughs> I hope you can figure out how Are to get it soon. Are you sure? <laughs> Snape Lee will live on. You sure you want to play yes. a defense card? I'm going to play what I'm going to play. Ready, set, okay. go. Ha! You're not going to trick me. Oh. Bring it on. Oh, zero damage. Zero damage. I knew that there you would have one. But this one, who's an opposing player. Put... That has to be played on your turn. That just comes back to your hand. Oh. Whoops. So. Okay. Um, uh, my turn. Your turn. I'm gonna. Um. Uh. Attack. You're attacking my. Yep. Person there. Mm -hmm. Ready, set, go. Bring Three. it on. Oh, two. That well. Oh, those aren't, can't be played as attack cards. They're just played. Oh. Choose an opposing fighter in Bruce Lee's zone, mm -hmm. blue zone, and place them in any space adjacent to Bruce Lee. And place them in any space adjacent to Bruce Lee. Oh, so you don't switch you don't it? No. Oh my gosh, these things. Uh, so you're in red, green, and blue. Um, so you can place this person anywhere adjacent to you. There's three spots. What a pain. Okay, I'm attacking you there. And I gain one action. Oh, nice. And then... Duke of Frank in the chat. What up? Duke of Frank, have you been watching the Olympics? I just found out that it was the Winter Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we've talked about the Olympics no. happening this week... Multiple times. I, yeah, no, we've talked about the Olympics. I just didn't fill in, like, I didn't imagine anything. I was like, mm. the Olympics are happening. You didn't imagine the events. No, I all we talked about was opening ceremonies. Which is the best event. <laughs> um, always, I, always. Uh, yeah, for, uh, for Duke of Frank, we are um, playing the... Monkey King versus Bruce Lee. Right now, Bruce Lee's up on a hill, dealing out some punches. I've got a couple clones over here that are uh, fighting against him. And uh, okay, Monkey um, King is currently right I here. I have one new action, so I'm going to move, and then I'm going to attack. Yes. You get a draw card when you move. Yes. Quaid Rain, what up? Hi, Quaid Rain. I am... Welcome to the stream. Um, I got one action. So I'm going to do a fast action. 
What's a fast action? A thunderbolt. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. you were attacking. I was I was attacking with a thunderbolt. It's gonna uh, be the one inch th- punch. Thunderbolts aren't attacks. The one there are punch. attack cards. Thunderbolts are just like you just play them. It says here deal two damage to an adjacent fighter if this defeats the that um fighter return the card to your hand instead of discarding it. Ooh, mm-hmm. maybe I should have done that like this, and I should have attacked them. Can I? It's up to you. Uh, well, so here's. Here's your choice. This guy only has one health. Yeah. So he's dead if you attack him. So you could okay. use it on that. Uh, I That would do three damage to me because of where you're standing. You're, I almost that's... think that that's more, that's probably better, don't you think? Yeah, because I can't defend against these cards. <gasps> yeah, one inch punch. <laughs> Which is something I like to do to my dad when I when he, <laughs> I heard about it and then that was my favorite thing to, not that I knew how to do it, but it was fun. Um to pretend that I could do a one inch punch. And then uh, and then it doesn't go back in my hand, which is a bummer. But messed up. All right. Did you lower your Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm at twelve health. Okay. I'm we should get little on screen counters for our health. That would be great. Um, one inch punch, man. Um it maybe this will be my tattoo. The one inch punch. It's got like a cool little um like uh I think it's the movement in these cards that would be, I feel like, a good tattoo. It would be cool line work. Oh, you want to get that card as a tattoo? No. <laughs> I was saying that I feel like it's just very... Interesting just the life visu- choice. The, visual, like the, the visuals are really cool. All right, I'm moving. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One, two, one, and one, two... <laughs> Rain on oh, match. The one hand I have um, studiously avoided ever playing or buying for the one fact that I know as soon as I do, I must have it all. <laughs> yeah, Quade Rain, I do it's have that issue. A slippery I, slope. <laughs> I've been pretty good with with it actually. I like how you say that because we just got a new. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm only getting the characters that I'm interested in. Well, but here's the thing. Um, bo- Unfortunately, Book of there's only just one here. expansion that I'm not interested in so far. So. <laughs> <laughs> Book of I, Nerds was just here talking about how good the Beowulf and Red Riding Hood was. I, know, I don't have that one, and I don't have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer one. And I haven't watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so I'm okay not owning that one. The Beowulf one does sound pretty cool, actually. So, uh, All right, I moved. I draw a card. I, um, Buffy is, like, an action hero slash, like, TV show character, but part of me thinks, like, what other, er like, era-specific characters could they have the cards of? Like, what if there was a Felicity? Like, I feel like that that character is, like, in, um, that era of... What, oh, yeah. what if there was a I Mary, mean, Mary Kane and Ashley? Someone on Twitter was, was, uh, <laughs> was saying that they should do a Golden Girls. Golden Girls! <laughs> Which would be pretty awesome. Um, Board Game Feast, my Jurassic Park set is still unplayed. You gotta play it! The, <laughs> the Velociraptors are so cool. I have not played as Injun yet, because <gasps> in the, in the pack, it seems like Velociraptors are definitely the winners and how cool they are, but do you I'm, see, I'm excited to play it. Anyway. Do you all see, says, um, friends. <laughs> if you had like Phoebe <laughs> and oh, Phoebe should have a bunch of cats oh. and she could play guitar songs and guitar songs. She could play songs on her guitar <laughs> and the cats would attack. <gasps> what else? What else would it be? And then, um, and then who is it? Chandler could have like a, office drones that he can command. <laughs> Legend says there's a Golden Girls Funko Pop game, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Mary-Kate and Ashley, Mrs. Moy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just keep shouting out expansions <laughs> for this. I feel like they really could go any direction with the expansions. They do have some Marvel ones coming out. Those will be cool. I mean, Little Red Riding Hood, I now that I'm thinking about it, it, she doesn't have any... Matlock. Oh, if they did... Uh, <laughs> it would have to be Matlock uh, versus um, Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're in the same, like... Oh, 
man, this is genre. awesome. I love this. Blackwing Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. These are really great. Has weapons in her basket. See, oh. I like the creative liberties with that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. What type of weapons are in there? I want to know. What? And also, there's, there is an attack Matt Lock. Sorry, you, sorry, Just... sorry, sorry, sorry. Um. <laughs> um, I love how the matchups play out. Like, the how thematic the cards are and how the characters um, feel unique, which is super cool. Which, like, the Velociraptors are all about pack hunting and stuff, which is super cool. The A-Team. Oh, my gosh. Oh, These are all shoot, great. Oh, shoot. The A-Team. Basic. Ha! Three plus one four. Cancel. Immediately cancel all effects. Okay, so you don't. I don't do the worded thing, but I still do two damage Ouch. to you. I don't block. One. You block two, but then I hit. I hit you for three, and then I'm up on the hill. Oh dang! You it. step down. So I. So I have two. Two mm -hmm. down or three. Two. Two. Oh my gosh! Neo and Trinity. <gasps> oh. Uh, and Murdoch. Baracus and Murdoch expansion. Baracus. Who's Baracus? I don't know, but I recognize it. Because <laughs> it is. There's already a Brothers Murph set, so. Wait, what? Versus board game spam is the obvious one to do next. Uh, yeah. Please, at, uh, you know, <laughs> at the, uh, you know, Restoration Games, and. Uh, <laughs> They, you know, maybe Restoration Games can get the spam license from the op, who currently have it with uh, Spam Yahtzee, which we just got from them. Um, yeah. I would love to see a board game spam set. Uh, <laughs> no, wait, is there really a Brothers Murph set? Is that real? Um, do you see what Mrs. Moy wrote? Gossip Girl Blair versus Serena for the top spot of the Upper East Side. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, or the way, or it could be the way Andrew's college days, it, it was people watching the Gossip Girl versus people watching <laughs> The Office and everyone was fighting for the communal oh, Pan television. Angel, yes, the Murph set is real. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, 90210. Oh. <laughs> um, Queen Rain um, says she, uh, Murder, she wrote Magnum. There's actually a crossover two parts. Um, Sorry, in their series, Jessica travels to Hawaii on a book signing and gets wrapped up in a case with Thomas Magnum. All right, I've got to see this book, oh. brothers. Oh, unofficial set. Okay. This is so funny. Oh, the dang. Oh, they have a dang card. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty good. so cool. Definitely click on that link. After combat, move one of your fires up to three spaces. They may move <laughs> through opposing fires. This is uh, so unmurfed. Did you see that? Yeah. That is so fun. This this whole concept of thinking of unmatched. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Gossip Girl one is <laughs> cracking me up. Um, Did I? Oh, wait. I got to put this. Then it's my turn, right? My turn, my mm -hmm. turn. I need to move. I only have three cards. This oh, is what happens when you do shoot. a lot of things. I totally forgot my power. I should have moved because Andrew was going to hit me. But anyways, one, two, three. Grab a card. And then I'm going to attack you. Is that okay? Is that okay? I mean, it's, I mean, not, does that okay. Work? it's not okay. But you don't have to ask anybody who you're going to attack. All right, here we go. Nick was working on the Murph set, says Legends. Man, what else is... What else would be a Babysitter's Club one? I'm not super <laughs> familiar with the Babysitter's Club. I'm just thinking about uh, that era. Um, ooh, yeah. What about Donnie Darko? That would be a good one. Donnie Darko. If, they did, if it was like an 80s set, an 80s. Is Donnie horror. Darko 80s? I thought Donnie Darko was like early 2000s. Donnie Darko? I thought it was 80s. Uh, now no. we're just talking about IPs that are interesting to us, so. Oh, 2001. 2001! Yes! Dude, I was, right. I was way off. Um, this is this is the stream. We should just have an ongoing counter of like... Andrew By the way, are, now are we about... jumping to books now? <laughs> <laughs> legends! Whoa, Legends! Monkey King Blessing card, Raid Idol card. 
Alan <laughs> Alan Grant sidekick for Andrew spam uh, card forgiveness moment card. I the forgiveness moment is the one that Sorry, accidentally switched scenes there. Hardy Boys uh, versus Nancy Drew. <gasps> oh, ooh, that's a really good one. Ooh, that is good. Hardy Boys versus Nancy Drew. Um, oh. I mean, I feel like a Scooby Doo, a Scooby Doo pack would be a really easy one. Oh man. Ooh, okay. Wait. And it would be great for. Also, there'd be like some because in a Bell? in a Scooby Doo one, they would have a special map where doors just lead to other doors like all around the map so you could ju- go into one door it's like that scene where they're going in and out of the doors and then they one of the bad guys like looks out looks around scooby-doo scooby-doo i didn't grow up watching <laughs> scooby-doo so i don't know um could you make a muppet set you know enough about muppets Ooh, muppets flintstones and jetsons Ooh. um all right you do a damage to me um, but I was started this turn in a different space. Oh no! So it's five. You do three damage to me. And no, I do. Oh, never mind. I thought I was. But I, I had after damage. combat, if if Sun Wukong played this card, summon a clone in no. Sun Wukong space, and then place Sun Wukong. <laughs> Sesame Street his... versus the Muppets. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> they uh, could do a Nickelodeon set. Oh my gosh! Hey Arnold. Hey, I love Hey Arnold. Especially, what if Hey Arnold had, like, um, Helga Pataki's, like, um, like gum gum shrine for <laughs> Hey Ar- for Arnold? Was that both your actions? Um, yeah, I moved, you moved and I went, time. yeah. I'm going to move. Um, I need to draw more cards. What, Grizzly Diz, what um, three, Nickelodeon characters or shows wait. would you want in the Nickelodeon set? Rugrats. Invader Zim! Yes, oh, Black Woodward. Oh, yeah. Restoration Games needs to get a Smash Brothers license and do all the Nintendo characters. That would be a good one. Our kid has this toy that was given by our friend Tricky20. It's like a little like video game. Like It's like a little toy that isn't a video game, but it makes all the video game noises. And he plays with it in the car, and then we keep hearing. We're, we always guess, like, ooh, that sounds like Pokemon, or that sounds like um, Mario. It's a really cute little toy. Invader Sim, yes, says Quig Rain. Okay, I just moved. Gur is my favorite. Um, uh, oh my gosh, you're all you're surrounding me. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, Gur versus Dib from Invader Zim. Ooh, dude, Mario Kart, yeah. If they could hook up, if they could hook up with Nintendo for a set, that would be pretty wild. They're already partnering with Marvel, so I could see them. One, two, three. Nickelodeon, another. Yeah, that's another. Because then, if they did Nickelodeon, they get one, all Avatar. Two, did you three. say that already? And I can move one more. Give Aang, Katara. Oh, I need to oh do my, my extra. Gosh. Move. Ugh. Okay. I want Avatar in this. <laughs> Um, that was your whole turn. Just yep. moving. Yeah, getting away from these. Nancy Drew says Black Wing Bird. Yeah, the Nancy Drew one is. Ooh, here we go. Uh, the Nancy Drew versus um. Uh, I've got fiery Party eyes. Boys. Let's see. I'm Uh-oh. gonna see your whole hand. Let's see what you got here. Samurai Jack, Dragon Prince. Oh my gosh, these are all classic Cartoon Network. Johnny Bravo, Samurai Jack. And Ed and Eddie, <laughs> and Ed and Eddie would be a really fun one. <laughs> I love the like. There's like clear ones. I was like, oh man, Samurai Jack, like definitely. Oh yeah. And Ed then and, and then Golden Girls. Like it's just like it's just. <laughs> I don't know what would be more fun. Like one that like would be a clear fighter, and then one that would be like. <laughs> I think that, that we need to just send them a link to the stream just to give you know all the ideas. I'm sure they have a million ideas at this place though. So. Restoration games. Um, if they could ever, game? yeah, if they could ever get the Star Wars license back, because I know this is originally based off of um, the Star Wars oh, Epic Duels game. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, what did you do to my cards? Did you get rid of some? I got rid of one. Um, and then I'm gonna move one, two, one, two.
Dancing around. We're dancing around each other here. <laughs> One, two, three. Ooh, Dragon Prince. Yeah, Dragon Prince actually, they have their own game. It's a skirmish game. Um, One, two, three. And I've heard good things about it, actually. We almost bought it the other day. <laughs> all these, all these. Um, Licensing is hard and expensive. Yeah, definitely Quaid Rain. Yeah. That's why we just got to make our own. <laughs> <laughs> no, packs. no, the art, the art is just, I think one of the things I really like about mm -hmm. the unique card art. Yeah. They I'm a sucker for unique card art. They, they've been, I feel relatively restrained when it comes to their releases for this, like one every six ish months. And I think because they're doing that, the quality is really high on each set. So uh, Blackwing Bird says, I have the Dragon Prince game from Brotherwise. Haven't gotten to play it yet. Ooh. Ooh, Dice Tower West. Hey, you're going to Dice Tower West? What? <gasps> um, the, See you there. Um, the Dragon Prince too. game looks really fun. I also really like Dragon Prince, so I think I I would be easily... Uh, is there a third season of that Oh, Blackwing Bird. I live in Vegas. My what family a... is there. Let's play Dragon Prince. Yes. I, oh, man, we would love that. that if would be... you're not on our Discord, we have a channel set up for connecting with us during um, Dice Tower West. So. And there's already some games that we're planning we'll, uh, yes. to try to play. Also, Legends, what are we going to play? I feel like I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to know at least what people are playing because I want to watch the videos of it so I can prime my Pia, brain. you're running away from me. It's annoying. Uh, I'm so slow. Okay, I'm going to move. One, two. One, two. Your clones are slow. One, two. I'm going to draw a card. And then... I am gonna move again, but I'm not actually gonna move anybody. Actually, I'm gonna move one person. One, two, and draw a card. All right, that's it. Uh, Panda Angel, what are you gonna play? What are we gonna play together at Dice Tower West when you're both flying in? Uh, we are flying in Thursday. Pia's family lives there, so we're gonna spend our day our first day in Vegas with her family, getting them all set up. Um, to take care of our take kid. Take care of our kid and <laughs> provide child care for the whole weekend, which will be great. But yeah, we have our uh, Friday through Sunday tickets. But yeah, we'd love to play something with you. Um, <gasps> what do you want to play? Um, yeah, I, I like, we're not going to be bringing a lot of games because we're flying with our little one, which means... We're bringing their We're bringing gear. all the baby gear that's required, which is going to take up most of our thing. So we'll be a little bit subject to what other people bring, as well as the Which um, is great, library. because we're Omni-gamers. So, yeah, so. and we love everything. So um, Actually, today... Yeah, they have a ton of games. I'm sure... Uh, I mean, I'd love to pick something beforehand, because that, that just makes it easier. We spend less time <laughs> being indecisive. Trying to decide. I'm yeah, so, we're I'm really so indecisive. indecisive. Yeah. Um... There will be games. <laughs> the, um, I have a few. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> um, yeah, the, it was actually funny today. We, well, it's not funny, but we experienced our first, our kids' first tantrum. And it was because Andrew made him put away. So I have a clear <laughs> box with a lot of our small card games in it. And he was a bit obsessed with trying to get it open. He wanted to see the, the little boxes inside the bigger box. <laughs> so I opened it up and showed him, but I also didn't want him to destroy all the games in there. So, um, anyways. He looked at it for a little while. He looked while, at it for a while, then but then all... it was his bedtime. So, but yeah, he kind of had a, a moment there. And I was like, this is Andrew's child. He he doesn't want to go to bed. He's procrastinating procrastination sleep. So that's a layer of it and then he was playing with fun cards what game was he playing with monikers monikers he had all the little cards which is funny because there's no images on monikers but he loves there's holding few, but... cards yeah hey i'm gonna encourage try to encourage that as much as possible brandbeard gaming what up Hi, brandbeard. welcome to the stream also quaid rain asked if we've seen the the deadpool set 
Um, you mean this right here, right next to me? Speaking, <laughs> we just bought this. Uh, speaking of having day, yeah. restraint when buying, um, I've been keeping my eye out for this because it's a little hard to find right now. I think. Um, the yeah, if our kid gets a hold of those cards, I feel like it'd be it'd Bye-bye. be a problem because these are real. They're they're really lo- interesting looking. Sorry, it's still my turn. I'm still trying to decide <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Uh, ooh, Boring Feast, have a good night. Thanks oh, for Thanks spending for dropping the evening in. with us. Yeah. Um, we'll see you around. I'm going to go one, two, three, draw a card, and then I'm going to attack you here. Ready. I'm supposed to be getting volume two in the mail. The only ones I don't have are Buffy, Deadpool, and Jurassic Ooh, uh, that is similar. We don't have Buffy. We just got Deadpool. This weekend. This weekend, like, just the other day. And then uh, Jurassic Park is awesome. And I cannot wait for Jurassic Park Volume 2 because it has a T-Rex in it. So. <laughs> Andrew's a sucker for anything in the Jurassic Park universe. I'm attacking you. I mean, it's the best. This is, like, one of the best applications of Jurassic Park. In but board you know what? Right now. But you know what? One of the best possible applications. Except for the legacy game that's coming out soon. Of Unmatched could be Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Golden um, Girls. Murder Shiro is probably one of my favorite of the chat um, ideas. Nancy Drew is also a great one. This is just this is making me laugh so much. Ready, set, go. Whoa, that's cool. Golden Chainmail. Any combat <gasps> damage you would take is dealt to the opponent fight opposing fighter instead. That would be me. That would be you. Oh. And you have five instead, right? Oh. It's one damage to you, baby. Oh. That's five. <laughs> this uh, monkey king is tricky. So that's eight. So then that's three. He's a trickster. Oh my gosh, that is painful. And then I get to move one. Oh, eat it through. Oh, actually, I do two damage because I got. Actually, no, no, no. The, the way it was worded, that. yeah, yeah. You cannot. Do I don't that. get that bonus. Murder she wrote. <laughs> I would yes. pay money for. I would. We murder were we everyone. were saying we were saying murder she wrote versus Matlock would be the would be the box set. Yeah. Who? Wait. Wait. Who? I wish I remembered who had suggested that because it was. Yeah. Cracking me up. <laughs> Legends, did you play your video game Snavely? No, I haven't yet. Legends, we pulled up the emulator. Andrew said, I need to sit down and figure out how to download this or figure this out. But oh, yeah. I, I, I can't wait to play it. I texted my best friend about that Snavely game. And she's like, I do not remember the name of that game. And Andrew was like, well, you guys were like kids. You were in elementary school and you didn't have very many games. You don't need to remember what the name is you just like know the little icon but i told her i was like i i i look it up every six to eight months just to figure think of it uh, th- uh, it's Qua- my favorite thing that's happened on stream <laughs> Qua- i mean that was very cool restoration games wants to use cards from other games entirely and got prison from a few uh publisher friends in particular i recall they had one plan from root but legal shut it down Boo! Oh, uh, so they they got in trouble for for doing that. Dang, it's too bad. It's just so it's just like such a fun um, it, it like mashup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we saw that one. My mom is the reason why <laughs> for my love for old people procedurals. I never thought about thinking about it as old people procedurals. I mean, really, have you seen Father Brown? <laughs> Perry Mason. I definitely want to watch Perry Mason. I I like can't understand their accents very well, so I I have to put the subtitles on. In which one? In Perry Mason. Oh. But I I like when I tried to watch it, it was like during a time when I was looking for a background show. Um I'm not really great at understanding accents. Um but it also was, I think, a show that I was like, Quaid I don't Rain. know if I can do it in the Quaid, Quaid Rain was the one who suggested. Yes, Quaid Rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
a magnum pi <laughs> permission uh, yes. permission yeah instead of prison <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense i am terrible at turn? spelling things on chat because i'm always on my phone and usually i'm oh thanks dancing cherry usually i'm on my phone or like washing dishes so i like hear something in chat and then i'm like like usually when brand beard is streaming um plate plate up i want to say offer up but it's the 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 restaurant show i'm usually washing dishes so all the chatter about the dishwasher and the restaurant i feel like i i i i um understand yeah i'm Ooh, like i mean i'm in the restaurant myself i have i have dish soap in my hands i'm washing the dishes mm. but i'm usually doing chores when i'm listening to stream so i can like i'm usually lurking um <laughs> plate up that's what it is uh, uh brandon you were up. you were uh I saw a post. Were you saying Played Up got a new update or something like that? There's going to be new stuff going on in the game? I could be wrong. Um, oh, man. Yeah, Played, Played Up, Up, that's a, such a wild game. It's, it's so, so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. <laughs> um, except I still love Murder, She Wrote. At the at start of Painting right now, I watch a bunch of such, uh, seasons of it. Holds up really well and amazing. Oh, I might have to revisit that. My friend, the same one who played Snavel, Snavely with me. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I say want to say Snavelry, but Snavely. Ooh, Grandbeer Game Gra Gaming says yes. Upgrade <laughs> appliances. Yeah, I am attacking. Oh, sorry. So you're going to either play card or just take it. Mm. Just take the punch. Do you have a tricky card or do I have? Uh, Legends is really enjoying Wonder Book tonight. Ooh! Tell us why, Legends. Um, Legends, is Three, it a two, single play? Are you playing single or solo? Oh, so not anything. <gasps> Immediately, no! your opponent may discard one card from their hand if they don't ignore their card's value. You didn't play with a card with value anyway, so it's three versus nothing. Oh my gosh, I thought it would have been one of the tricky ones. So I lose three. I'm dead. Wait, that was it? Oh, I thought you I had. Win. I thought you had. I thought you had one of the like um like yeah, uh, the yeah tri the tricky. Oh my gosh, I was doing I like, so well. I like this. I I knew that this Andrew would this um what is it? Sun Wukong is a very tricky character, which it's a very tricky like like folk character. So it, it's yeah. like it aligned with what it's supposed to be, but I don't like it because I feel like Andrew loves tricking me. He loves being mischievous and it's playing into it's playing into that playing into the nonsense that andrew typically i don't like it lots i want to play night, lots of nonsense i want to play sun wukong next time i feel i feel um vulnerable to the trickery i don't like being tricked i don't like surprises but i do like tricking people so <laughs> Maybe I can't. I I like to dish it out, but I can't take the trickery. Quadrant <laughs> says all the murderers are exclusively white. All black characters are helpful and supportive. There's oh, an entire episode in season two or three without a single male speaking role. Wow, I no. Uh, maybe we should. Is it on a streaming service right now? I feel like it could be. Um. Yeah. My my friend Elizabeth, the one that I played Snape with, mm -hmm. she, um, her um family really like murder she wrote so when it i would go over to her house Netflix. oh bummer oh wait i missed there's something about uh, slightly above i have the murder she wrote board game found in a local thrift store pre-pandemic set um sat in the aisle to count pieces <laughs> to make sure it was complete <laughs> That was one of Hashtag, the... what is it, like, board gamer moments? Uh, <laughs> what's your most shameful board gaming moment? Okay, go off. Who yeah. could, who could top Bram Beard? Um... Counting Murder, She Wrote board game pieces in the aisle. I don't know if that's shameful. Is that the right word? What's a better term for that? Um, Just, like, just very like, board gaming. Just, uh, like, deep... Board game, yeah, your most, uh, like, uh, like, your lowest... Board game addiction moment. Uh, <laughs> lowest board game addiction. I don't know. Lowest or high or Highest, best. I don't know. It's really. I just are like, you a glass half full? Glass, yeah, yeah. Glass just, oh my gosh. Well, uh, actually, that makes me think a lot about how like I never played 
or bought board games from the thrift store when I was younger because mm-hmm. my sister was always losing pieces to stuff, so we never bought games that had any specific pieces. Mm-hmm. So I could see myself being like, surely this is not a complete set. Was it complete, by the way? I don't I don't know if you had mentioned. Uh, Quaidrian says, I wrote a huge blog post about how incredible it was <laughs> uh, and to go back and watch uh, Murder, She Wrote. Now, as an adult, and realized a show from the late 80s, early 90s is more progressive than those shows are made now. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Oh, man. It's on Prime. Oh, Prime. in Canada. So, Ooh. may or may not be on Prime here. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> That's a little shape, shape of Bob Morgan. Right? <laughs> Excuse me, sure. I'm just making sure that Jessica Fletcher's nephew, Grady, is in the box. I'll be here a few minutes. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a good one. Uh, well, we have to share now that they shared. What would be ours? What? Um, I, I don't know. It's got to be some... Oh. We probably have some pictures. Uh, it Okay, so playing board games in the Philippines. And um, there's oftentimes... not We're not playing at like, people's houses. We're playing out in public. And you know me, I've got to have all the options, so I bring all the games. And so, <laughs> that, this, uh, is the, this is the <laughs> so this is the moment the board, sh- board game shame moment for me was like all the t- and multiple times, all the times having to go through checkpoints, sh- security like... checkpoints with like three giant bags of board <laughs> games, <laughs> and the looks that I get from the security <laughs> guards, like what? Who's this white guy with like? <laughs> Like five two, box of like, like a back things he's saying are board games. He's got a backpack and he's got two reusable bags of board games. And he's like, and the thing is with these checkpoints, like, um, it's like every time you enter like a like a mall. a mall or shopping area, and then sometimes if you're entering oh, wow. a store within the mall. They'll, like, check because people are just bringing a lot of bags with them. And I'm like, every time Andrew has to, I'm like, I'm like, either I want to be ahead of him so I'm not associated with him. Or I'm, like, several people back. And I'm like, Andrew, go ahead. Because they're always, Uh, like, there's always a look of, like, this can't be another. (laughs) What are you doing with this? Did you just buy these? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Um, It's good. Yeah, and then I mean... Posture check. Posture check. Our heads kind of go out of the screen if we're too bad. good. Oh, back up a little bit. I'm trying to think of other board game ones, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> the counting the pieces, though, is still cracking me up. I can picture that pretty clearly. Grady was great. He had a new girlfriend every appearance on the first few seasons, and Jessica would comment on it until he met the woman who would marry, who was... Actually, oh. real life wife of actor. Whoa, that's very cool. That's a crazy. Um, and then there was, we missed it, but legends told us about wonder, wonder books. I want to make sure we got his got his review. Uh, wonder book is one of our f- one to four players, but as a deck of cards for each chapter. I'm currently on a board uh, in the back of the book. I know when I open the book. It is a pop-up. Oh, it's a pop-up book. Oh, that's pretty cool. Actually, I have heard of this game uh, now that I think about it. Oh, Yepcha Live. What up? Hi, Yepcha. Also, everyone out here, Yepcha is a streamer. Um, they stream um, Minecraft. Minecraft, but but the other day they were streaming, um, what is it? Uh, um leaf blower revolution it's it's always <laughs> funny because i always think about revolution like ddr like dance dance revolution. definitely give them a follow <laughs> leaf blower revolution viva la revolution <laughs> um but we will hopefully PM. play um don't starve don't, together at some might point. be streaming don't starve with um them. i'm trying to employ everyone i know who plays don't starve because i want to i want to do well in that game but i need help <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's any more board game, um, like ridiculous board game moments. moments. I mean, a lot of the public playing and giant stacks of games in the Philippines. Oh, easily I, I fall mean, under that. an example. It's not embarrassing, but we we like took over a coffee shop in the Philippines again. Like my family, there's when we're all hanging out. There's a lot of us, and it's very hard to find a 
a place that can house all of us so we end up hanging out in public spaces Mm -hmm. and so we met up at a coffee shop and it's fun because my cousins invited some of their board game friends to join us but andrew brought a huge stack and there was someone who thought they the stack was from like the board games that the coffee shop owned so there was like someone that we didn't know that just came up and started like grabbing them and andrew and i were like uh do you know? And we were trying to figure out who they owned. And yeah, they, like who they, they knew. thought it was like a library that, that they could just. There check were out. so many games that they thought surely someone didn't ride a taxi not... and all bring these all games. these games to the coffee shop. It was a well, and with this in mind, this coffee shop is like a twenty-four hour one that a lot of students study in, and it was winter break, so they were all like it was pretty empty, but. There were so many games. There's a picture of, like, how big the stack was. And it was really hard to tell them, like, these are all of our games. You can't... (laughs) I guess you can borrow them. They were so embarrassed that they tried to, like, grab some of these. I'm like, ugh. Uh, I would think... Also, Grim here. Don't starve. Yes, we will play it together with these games. Oh, no worries. <laughs> We've got um, to. Uh, I mean, they're playing Monday. Uh, yep, Cha and Tia, you could join the server, I'm sure. I, I don't even know how to set up a server. I was just playing by myself for a little while just yeah, to get. Not on stream next Monday, but just, no, just, just to playing. get their bearings. Um, But yeah, to, to bring so many board games to a location that someone thinks that these board games live here is probably another board game. Another game. A, a ridiculous board game moment. Oh, uh, man. I'm so normalized to it now. Board it's games like... are to share. <laughs> yes, yeah. yep, cha. Legends, I usually bring four games to a coffee shop, and we play Lord of the Rings Journeys to Middle Earth in a coffee shop. Ooh, nice. That's a big one, too. Um, yep, Chad, that would be so fun to play Jackbox games with the family. We played a game called um, Wavelength over chat, and there was a bunch of our family, Yep, Chad, and then some people, like childhood friends that were in chat, people who don't usually watch um, Twitch with us. And it was so funny because they were just razzing us so well, me for my bad. Um, my... Pia, Pia claiming that. Um... Oh, what was it? The, uh, the Sandlot, Sandlot was an <gasps> underrated movie. What if we did Sandlot versus, <laughs> like, what's another team sports? Big Green, Mighty Ducks. Oh, for Unmatched? Um, or, be or, like, I mean, maybe this is too similar, but, like, um, Three three Ninjas. I'm trying to think of, like, the 90s sports, like, era. Mm-hmm. Now that we've covered Murder, She Wrote, yeah. and... <laughs> Blackwing Bird and Zia Power talking about wavelength definitely. Uh, so fun, we gotta, so we good. Gotta yes. get that, we got to do another wavelength stream. Another uh, what did we call them? <laughs> Club Cardboard Fridays. Um, Sandlot is appropriately ra- rated. rated. I yeah. think that's fair, Bear Beard. Is. I think I misunderstood <laughs> what I was trying to share. He was making big claims that people <laughs> didn't like it. No, no one talked about no, it. No, no, it's no, like no. never. You know, no. people don't. You know, it's just I, like indie, no little, indie hit. No, I yeah. was not. This is all a big lie. Um, three ninjas. Oh, um, three ninjas or I, surf ninjas. Three ninjas versus surf ninjas. What are you talking about, surf ninjas? You don't know what surf? No. Sur- look, look, we've talked about surf. Ninjas. No, wait. We watched up. surf ninjas. No, I haven't. Oh man, Surf Ninjas is the better. Canon. The only surfing movie I'm familiar. The two are Johnny Tsunami. And Rip Girls <laughs> of the Disney Channel original series. Have you watched Surf's Up? Surf's Up? Wait, is Surf's Up the penguin one? Surf Ninjas, Rob Schneider's in it, Leslie Neal. I one. have never seen Surf Ninjas. I do not know what you're talking about. But it is Can 93. we watch the trailer on the screen? No, 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 no. We don't know how to, like, figure that out. But also, can you can you show me an image of Surf Ninjas? I have never These, seen the, Surf Ninjas. Images. The Big Green, that's also another one. Surf's Up is so good. Surf. Lilo and Stitch, Surf's Up. Oh, I feel like a surfing one would be really good. I did not realize this was a Leslie Nielsen movie, actually. It was absurd. They surf to an island that's full of ninjas. Because <laughs> I think their dad gets point, kidnapped. Point Break! Oh, Point Break. <laughs> Ladybugs. Um, oh, man. Oh, the... Herbie, the... the the Herbie, right? The uh, 
The Volkswagen Bug. <laughs> Anyone remember Herbie? There uh, was a Canadian that would be series. A good, that would be a good unmatched set. <laughs> um, I. <laughs> did you watch Herbie? No. It's a Volkswagen Bug that like is alive. <laughs> Beard is referencing ladybugs, Herbie. I don't know, it made me think of it though. Johnny Tsunami, Blue Crush, Blue Crush. <laughs> that is also another surfing. Um, oh just, man, just the, the surfing mega pack is what they would call it. There's 10 <laughs> factions, all from different surf movies, all from the, the <laughs> late 90s to early 2000s. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, the. Herbie versus, Her versus Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is this has been a great. I hope race. they do this at Restoration Games, where they're just throwing out ridiculous ideas, and then some of them stick. I uh, hope that at Restoration Games, right when everyone gets off of work and they have they have like happy hour, that's like what do you, what is your what did your team call it? Like on the clock, off the clock. Yeah. They have a couple of drinks. And then they talk about different unmatched sets. <laughs> dancing Cherry, hydrate. <laughs> Thanks, Dancing, Thank dancing Cherry. He Man versus Skeletor. Oh, um, Legends, have you seen the Skeletor memes? They're always so funny to me. <laughs> they are. They're great. Um, <laughs> someone call Restoration Games. Uh, point blank. John Cusack <laughs> versus Danny Aykroyd. <laughs> oh, man. Ackroyd. Man, that makes me, that makes me, so, oh, okay, okay, this, I'm kind of cheating right now, but we are playing, I don't know if people are familiar with the podcast, All Fantasy Everything, but um, I don't think he's in the chat anymore. Um, Duga Frank. Duga Frank, but um, his wife is doing like Apex. a, is doing a dinner party with um, a bunch of us, and we're drafting like our favorite, uh, Items in movies. So props in movies, and so you pick your favorite props, and they would function. But not like the the real world version of the prop, but the in universe version of the prop. So like the prop would function as the like item. the one ring would be the one ring of power. It so it be, would corrupt it you. It, yeah, it wouldn't be a ring that looks like the one ring of power. Yeah. So um, we're gonna have this dinner party and then the draft our favorite um, objects. Ooh, lightsaber! That's gonna be <gasps> picked yeah, quickly. Ooh, okay. I need we need, I need to like make a master. TMT list of all versus the first Ghostbusters. Ones. Ghostbusters yeah. is a great one. Um, <laughs> but um, we were going. Andrew and I were going on a walk with our kid, and we were trying to brainstorm. But I'm gonna use the chat hive mind to just. Because the part that's fun, too, is not only thinking about the ideas, but also drafting in order. Because, yeah. like, lightsaber, if I want it... the and lightsaber, those are going to be picked first early. round. So first round. First, first round, round. They're gone. Ninjago golden weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Panda versus Benita Unmatch. I really like that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe man. Panda Shark. There would be um, um, the uh, Panda Boogie card. <laughs> what would Panda Boogie do? Panda Boogie would definitely be an attack card. It would be an attack. Oh, not a defense card. No, it is would be both. Panda, is panda's book is panda's boogie that aggressive to you? No, but I think it's powerful. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely powerful. Oh, a PB, PB and, and J, J attack. attack. Ooh. Where you and the art would be a PB and J sandwich, but your all their heads would be sticking out. <laughs> but then, what <laughs> would a PB the and J actually a PB and J attack? I think. Would you think it would be? Because if you were playing Benita, but then you played a PB and J card, but then you Both were Both attack playing... and defense. That's oh, good. Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that makes sense. Because I was like, how would you, if you were playing as Panda, like, and you played the PB and J attack, how would you attack Benita when you were part of PB and J? What do you mean? Anyways. Um, you would, would the White Claw be an attack or a defense? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good. Uh, that's that's almost a like philosophical question. <laughs> attacks you. Attacks, attacks you no matter, matter who, who plays, plays it. it. Yes, that's. I feel like that would be. Um, <laughs> what the White Claw would be like? Take a damage. Do ten damage or something. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, I would ooh Master Sword from Zelda going back to the um Is there to, a Zelda movie? 
Oh, but yeah, it's got to be movies. It's got to be movies. Yep, yeah. cha. That's the constraint is movie props. There might have been Panda, a Panda, I would love to, to see the... I at least <laughs> brainstorm with the chat. I know. <laughs> we got to make these. Benita We'll Benita continue this conversation Panda. on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More um, unmatched sets. Um... Is that, sets. I think I think one of Bonita should be her never call the never call oh. card. <laughs> It'd be a picture of a bunch of games falling on someone. Falling on someone, <laughs> but it could be a defense. It could be like you could just oh, Bonita could wall just... of games never call <laughs> a high defense card. <laughs> yes, um, I never call too. Ooh, so then it could be it could be a oh. never call. Oh man, but um, now I'm still thinking about. Um, Props, movie props. I have one. I'm really excited to say it. Andrew sparked the idea, but he doesn't know. I, I have one that I'm really, really excited about. But I think it's a little bit of a deep cut. Yeah, she was like fishing for me to say all my ideas. And then she's like, I'm not saying this one that I thought of. <laughs> and I was like, okay, conversation over. Because I'm not going to give you any more of my ideas. Unfortunately, I'm a verbal processor, so I haven't had any more ideas since then. So... <laughs> Joke's on me. <laughs> oh, Legends, the Streamers United card sounds fun. Quaid, Wade, you, um, do you feel like one of your cards could be, um, would be a, an Irish stew? Because I, so that was a crazy thing. When you were streaming Quaid, Quaid Wayne, I like usually <laughs> have to do a, um, what is it? I haven't been able to watch people's midday streams ever since I went back to work. I used to be able to when I was in maternity leave. But then mm -hmm. I went back to work and like um, I was doing remote work so I could watch streams while I worked, while I did paperwork. But then when I went back to in person, it's blocked. It's blocked. But I had really Stupid good schools. I, I had good cell service, so then I was like watching people's streams. I'm like this is awesome. Um, but um, Quaid Wayne had made a really delicious looking stew. Mm. But I I was telling Andrew all about it, Quaid Wayne, because I thought it was so cool that you had cartographers on iPad, um, like side by side with the cooking. So between oh, uh, that's a great combo. Mm -hmm. We've always talked about doing a cooking stream of some sort. We've but... only done um um a hot pot since it's like yeah, it's a long meal anyways. Yeah, but um, it's the most bored game of meals. Yeah, there's a it's a dexterity game, hot pot. Mm -hmm. um, also, board game, board game, or a uh, board game, <laughs> a board game, board game, a hot pot board game. That's just that's rife for ideas right there. Someone's yeah. gotta make it. Well, also because the hot pot board game, Panda had told us, uh, like, gave us the tip of cooking the meat first. And so, mm -hmm. if you could stack your games or do a combo where you're doing the meat all Whoa. before the Quaid rain, you watched me legally. I'm so honored. <laughs> Definitely illegal. Every time a supervisor came by, Super a supervisor came by, you slammed your my phone, phone down. Your phone <laughs> down on the thing, not your computer. I guess. No, it's perfect because it's on my phone while I was doing paperwork. I was mm. editing. Um, okay, should we check out someone to 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 raid? To raid. Ooh, Bonzinator's on. What is? It? She's playing a video game though. If there's anyone on, maybe we should first check anyone on the oh, board who's game. Who's Denny Von Doom? I'm not sure, but is that a board game? No, they're playing a cool new game that I'm interested in. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure who who that is. But do you want to uh, check the channel, the board game channel first? Of course. Um, Quid Rain, I will always watch your stream illegally, if given the the bars and what's it called the the connectivity to do so. <laughs> Oh, time, oh, roll time rollers on. on. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll stay in channel here. Yeah. Keep let's the, stay. Keep the board gaming going. Um, the crazy gun from Fifth Element says Quaid Rain. I don't know Fifth Element, but I mean a crazy gun sounds awesome. Oh, I haven't spent forever. Ooh, that makes me think of one though. <gasps> Uh, See, this is why we have to bring it up to the yeah. chat so that at least it gets our our ideas going. Okay. All right. Time roller is um the is one... playing excavation Earth. So actually, I'm a little interested in seeing what's Black going on. Blackwing, the one with the net. 
than that. Uh, we gotta re. I need to rewatch. It. I haven't seen it since I was probably in high school when it came out, and I know it's got like such a hardcore following. I don't think I got it in high school. The Nets. Oh wait, is there a movie? I was gonna say. I have an idea from Ender's Game, but it, that's a book. But I guess, is there an Ender's there's Game a, movie? There's a movie. Remember, there's a movie? It had, like, um, Harrison oh. Ford. It was oh. okay. Oh. Anyways, yeah. we'll let you know how the, how the <laughs> um, what's it called? The, the draft of the... Oh, and before we run, uh, we are streaming Thursday. We're going to have some guests. Uncle Jojo, mm-hmm. Auntie Rudy Red. And <laughs> her uh, name just keeps changing the more that is, we is are we just was it just Ruby Red before? I don't know. We just keep like, yeah, adding so, to it. <laughs> they'll be joining us, so we'll be playing a four player game. So it should be exciting. Um we're playing do you remember what it's called? Um Race for the Chinese Zodiac. Yeah. Well, Andrew wanted to play it. Um It's been on my shelf of shame for a very long time. Oh, and we're raiding in now! Right now. Okay. <laughs> See y'all over Twitch. there. Says now.